Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide. And we are on January 23rd, 2023. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Grateful to have you all tuning in with our space weather update as well. Earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. This is the Daily Do. Looking at the last 48 hours on our sun, images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Still observing some large sunspot regions turning away and the coronal holes have built as we were posting yesterday having a look here the last 24 hours incoming right hand side a lot of plasma activity and that small sunspot region has now crested and we had a pretty sizable backside eruption on our sun looking at outgoing here very complex sunspot regions right there in front of us luckily they weren't highly active as I thought they might have been in an earth facing fashion but did produce quite an interesting scenario behind the sunspot regions as I showed yesterday that snaking filament it now looks like it has turned into a trident amazing things amazing imagery right now from that active sunspot region here's the plasma filament I'm talking about all connected and then two large coronal holes following that. Looking at it from another light here. Blackened regions are the coronal holes. Also notable there in the bottom right hand side. A little solar tornado. And as well some cresting. Looking at solar x-ray flux right now. We're sitting at a C range. Solar proton flux is low. 2 C-class uh, flares in the past 24 hours. Geomagnetic activity sitting at KP2. Real-time solar wind, we're sitting at 488 kilometers per second right now. Those are the solar winds pounding our planet as it jumped up to about 554 kilometers per second last night as we were expecting that space weather impact. And we are expecting another geomagnetic storm coming up here into the 27th and 28th. But looking here, ISPWA Space Prediction Spiral detecting a large CME taking off from the back side of the sun. Directed right at the BEPI satellite, or sorry, uh, Parker Solar Probe and Venus. Quick look here at Alaska 2 showing all of the elements taking off from our sun. And you can see in the bottom left-hand side, can see the blast that occurred on the back side of the sun and if we can see it on the front side like this it must have been a big one schumann residence for today is sitting at a power of seven after quite a spike last night who else couldn't sleep last night i'm sure there's a long list of people amplitude of seven quality of 10 and a power of three low power low power having a look here across the Walton and USGS earthquakes were sitting at about 140 across the world, according to USGS. Largest being a 5.5 here in Tobelo, and we've seen continuous activity through the region this week, expecting something to pop through South America. Volcano Island saw 5.2 there today as well. Japan, Harara, 4.2, 5.1 here in Likapur, India, 4.1. That's not Port of San, Zhangai, China, 4.1, 4.4 there. Hindu Kush region, Afghanistan, 213 kilometer depth. And still seeing activity here in Malta, North Africa, 5.1 earthquake right in the middle of the Mediterranean. Another 5.1 here, Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands. And that was northeast of the Michael Volcano, the only one showing signs of activity. And then we get to South America, 4.2 here, Abra Pampa, Argentina. That's where we saw the large one earlier this week, as well as 3.9 Oval, Chile. We've got some interesting activity developing through Chile right now, as we just had a very sizable volcano that has awakened. And then we get to the Virgin Islands and Puerto Rico. And boy, they are vibrating today. Northeast region of Puerto Rico, 4.0 as well. Two 3.9s. So heads up, stay safe. 
I'm sure you're feeling those ones waiting for something to pop there through the subduction zone, South America or the Scotia Plate. North American Plate, very quiet. Now let's look at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery from around the world and as well posting the most recent volcanoes as uh, Pue Volcano or Cordon Cal has awakened and has not shown an eruption since the year 2011, but also a very sizable, notable eruption there back in 1960 with a 9.4 earthquake that was recorded through the region. And having a look at Google Earth at, at Vulcan Pue or Cordon Cal, you can see it has spewed some massive eruptions throughout time. Also noticing here, maybe a couple most recent eruptions. Lava cascading all the way down the mountains here. So we're going to have to get a volcano activity report here soon as we're sitting at, I believe it's 46 active and erupting volcanoes across the planet. But we'll have to see when I count them up and post the numbers here with the volcanic activity report coming soon. We'll carry on here with the most recent today, Semeru in Indonesia. As well, Sabankaya in Peru. Many flood alerts, 193 active hazards across this app right now. Popo in Mexico. Thoughts and prayers going out to everybody affected worldwide by natural disasters. Nevada's Daru is Colombia. Fuego, Guatemala. Sangay in Ecuador. Shivluch in Russia. Reventador in Ecuador. Here we are finding all the volcanoes. That's all in the last seven hours. Cotopaxi in Ecuador. Carrying on here, looking at satellite imagery from around the world as we do have quite the system moving into Arizona right now. It is snowing in Arizona and it is set to snow a lot through Arizona, Texas and northeastward as it tracks eastward. Overlooking the Pacific, still two very large low pressure systems, most of the moisture heading up into Alaska, northern BC, and as well a strong one moving into Kamchatka, eastern Russia. Equatorial daytime evaporation through Indonesia. We've also got huge low pressure systems centered over the Mediterranean right now, bringing a lot of rain and cloudy skies throughout Europe. And we've also got Cyclone Chanisa, who is set to gain strength and rage down the west coast of Madagascar. Having a look here at the world weather forecast brought to you by Venture Sky, you can see here by Wednesday night, the system is going to build big time, bringing in some severe weather towards the Gulf states and heavy snowfall towards northeastern states and then race out to the Atlantic by Thursday. Friday, we've got another low pressure system coming through the Canadian prairies, setting up over northwestern United States. And then we've got quite a complex convergence line stretching all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico this week. It's going to dry things out later in the week but it's going to drive in some polar weather as the Siberian polar vortex is moving in. Having a look here at South America, daily evaporation rains, no major systems affecting you this week. Overlooking Africa and of course Cyclone Chaniso as it is still forecast over the next three to four days along the southwest coast of Madagascar. Low pressure system centered here through the Mediterranean 
and it looks like it's going to be mixing with a couple bore high pressure ridge building in through the Atlantic right now though trying to fight and push away these gray skies but still abnormally warm through the region watch for that polar vortex to swing around and change things for you overlooking Southeast Asia India and Indonesia as in the long-range forecast Tuesday 31st into February could see cyclone development for southern India and as well a couple systems here that will be grazing Australia one low pressure system coming in from the northwest through Saturday going to bring a long line of storms straight across the continent and then long-range forecast you've got some interesting severe weather developing in the north and a low pressure centered through the southeast going to leave you here with a quick look over the pacific showing the next few systems that are on the way for north america much love everybody i really thank you for watching stay aware and prepared stay young and have fun and get your daily due bye bye now If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.